we had some grueling, grueling days and nights. Yeah. And so when we finally had finished product, it was like, we were like elated, like, oh God, like we did it. We, okay, we finally completed that or whatever, you know, cause a lot went into this man. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mentally, physically, like like Mike was saying, like we 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 laid it on the line for this. Average Joe premieres on BET Plus on June 26th. I had a chance to watch the series. I really enjoy it. Enjoyed it. So, but how would you best describe this series? <laughs> hey, uh, um, yeah, wow, I, it's it's hard to pin down. It's. Um, it's a drama. It's a suspenseful drama with a little brevity uh, yeah. to to lighten, you know, lighten the load. But it is it's a buddy picture. It's a, it's I, I mean, I'm all over the place because I, you could label it several things. It's a show about family. First and foremost, it's mm -hmm. about family. It's about bond. It's and that's family is, is blood family, but it's also friendship. Yep. And that is at the core of this show is the family dynamic and what these people would do for each other to help each other. Um, and you throw them into this mix of this crazy uh, world of, of organized crime. And, and the title is apt. It's Average Joe. These are just simple, average blue collar folks who yeah. find themselves in extraordinary circumstances. Mm -hmm. And Dion, I wanted to ask you this. You play Joe, who, as Michael mentions, is a hardworking individual, but gets into some trouble, which sets everything off. So ultimately, what attracted you to this role? Um, uh, the script, the script is like twist and turn throughout the whole series, man. And, and not only that, being able to play a character with, with so many different, you know, uh, depths was something that really caught my eye. You know, this guy is, you know, is menacing, he's funny, you know, he's charismatic, he's confused, he's lost, he's, you know, scared. He, he's a, he's a lot of things, and so to get all of that in one character was something that you know, you know, uh, resonated with me. On top of the characters, the, the 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 cast, the cast of characters was like, oh my god! Like I I just want to be around these people and, yeah. and and work with them. Yeah. So like just just reading it made me be like, oh man, this this coming to life would be something else. Absolutely. Michael, I want to ask you this. You play Benjamin, also known as Touch. He is a uh, police officer that's ha that has his share of issues and also is Joe's uh, longtime uh, best friend. Um, for you, what was it like playing a character like him throughout the entire season? Um, it was challenging, man, and it was it was yeah. exhausting in the best way. Um for precisely the reason that Dion was talking about, it all comes down to the script and the character. And I read this way back in July of last year, and it was, it just spoke to me. And the challenge of playing a character that has all these secrets and has all these issues and these dark sides, um, to be able to, to straddle that that line, to, to walk the the edge of that that sword and keeping those, trying to keep those things hidden from his best friends. He's also a cop. He's trying to maintain his life professionally, but things personally are starting to come un unhinged. So I found those four or five months that we were shooting the show at uh, times to be mentally and emotionally exhausting. But like I say, in the best way, because that's what we want to do as, as actors and artists is stretch and try to find something that, um, that you get excited about, you know, and oftentimes we don't have a choice in the roles we take. You take the job that comes up and to be able to get uh, to play a character like this is, was a dream. Absolutely. Dion, I want to ask you this. Um, while the show has some funny elements, it's as intense of a show as you'll find on television. So is this one of the more impactful shows or projects you have worked on in terms of the drama and the violence? Yeah, this being a, a <clears throat> darkly comedic, intense yeah. drama, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, it was something that I... Like I said, I haven't. I've I've played serious before, or I've or it's been comedy, but not both together like that. And so, yeah, this was challenging because um, it's a fine line between dramatic and funny, and when mm -hmm. to cut it on, when to cut it off, and you know when to you know uh, play the fence on it. And uh, that was probably the the most difficult part or whatever. 
Michael, yeah. I want to ask you this. Sure. Um, you have worked on your share of projects over the years. This is kind of a similar question I asked. Dion, uh, where does Average Joe rank in terms of overall intensity when it comes to the projects you worked on? Um, probably to date, the most intense thing I've done. I mean, in terms of tone, I did a series called Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. And that show got dark. You know, it also was was the fate of humanity was on the line. So we carried that emotion through, you know, four or five seasons. But the the speed and the intensity and the the tone of this show, the fun, you know, this show puts its finger on your pulse and never lets up. It just, the, your heart rate starts going from episode one. Things that I thought would happen in a series of over 10 episodes that might reveal themselves in two or three episodes get revealed in one episode. You think, how where could we possibly go? If they're going to give this information away in, in episode one, where can the show go? And it just keeps up in the ante and the drama and the, the, um, the intensity. So I don't think that I've ever been part of something that, was breakneck speed like this all the time um this yeah yeah so this you know this is new territory for me absolutely this question is for both of you um one of the things um featured in average joe is um every well the cast or really this the main characters are trying to look for uh millions of dollars mm -hmm. hidden by uh joe's father so do you think, do you guys think, did you have the ability to hide millions of dollars from loved ones? Oh, would I be able to hide millions of dollars? <laughs> yeah. Half of it first. But, uh, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> yeah, I would probably go buy like a Lexus helicopter or something. <laughs> you know, give yourself away. <laughs> Look at that. I've been sitting in the driveway yeah. like eBay. It was the weirdest thing. Nobody bid. <laughs> I got a great price. Nobody bid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was even such thing as a Lexus helicopter. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd be great at it. I, I, yeah, I, I, I could squirrel 10 million. No problem. Absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. But last question for me before I let you guys go is, um, uh, again, I really enjoyed the show. Um, the first few episodes I've seen. So overall, what was the best thing about working on this series? Um, the best thing about working on the series was, you know, seeing seeing it get done. These we we had some grueling, grueling days and nights. Yeah. And so when we finally had finished product, it was like we were like elated, like, oh god, like we did it. We okay, we finally completed that or whatever, you know, because a lot went into this, man. Mm -hmm. Uh uh, mentally, physically, like like Mike was saying, like we 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 laid it on a line for this, and uh, to to see it all done and put together is like you know a labor of love. So seeing it finished was most important. That's yeah, yeah yeah. To kind of build on what Dion was saying, that that sense of gratification of being able to put something like this together. What I've discovered is that we built a team and a family as a cast mm -hmm. and in conjunction with Rob Cullen, our creator and the writers and the producers, we were constantly evolving the story Yeah, as it went. And there were days where I was like, I don't know if we're going to make it through this. We were in episode two or three long, long days, well into the night. We're like, man, this is going to be intense. And really I early, that's why I referenced, I pointed to this man right here. He's our leader. He's number one. And, you know, you take your cue from the top down and uh, Dion set the tone and the work that he did and the commitment and the time was so inspirational. That's the gratification I get when you get to work on a project. And I just look across and I see my my peers, my co-stars and be completely inspired by their work ethic. And I was like, OK, I got to step up my game. Yeah. And, and, and I read some Tom Hanks said one time where he was like Tom Hanks is like. He's not really that good. He just surrounds himself around great people <laughs> and it makes him look good. Yeah. And that's exactly what I try to do as well. You know, and like and, and, and one other thing, this is based on true events. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From Rob Cullen, whose yeah. life, you know, this mimicked a situation in his life. And so it was also grueling on him to see this being done. I mean, created as well. So it took a toll on everybody. So it was good to see it finished. Well, we did it. We did it. And it looks good. Did it. Yeah. Well, I'm really proud good. of it. Yeah.
Yeah. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Well, Dion, Michael, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it and Absolutely, continue bro. success to both of you. Bro.